Hi everyone, today in this video I'm going to discuss with you how the accidental discharge evaluation takes place. So why to evaluate? It is very important to know whether uh, the accidental discharge was done unintentionally or intentionally. So for that evaluation of the weapon is important. The weapon of crime is taken and it is tested under several conditions of uh, abusive mishandling in order to know whether uh, the weapon is having the tendency to accidentally discharge or not. So there are a number of tests that are used for evaluating which I will be discussing now. The first test is drop testing. In this test the weapon is dropped from various heights and from various side of the weapon. For example barrel vertical and muzzle down barrel I'm using going to use B vertical and muzzle down or barrel vertical and muzzle up then barrel horizontal bottom up horizontal and bottom up or barrel horizontal and bottle bottom down or barrel horizontal and side up same again and side down so these are some of the positions in which the weapon is dropped down in order to know whether these positions are capable of causing the unintentional discharge or not. Then the second test is trigger pull examination or trigger pull test. In this we measure a series of peak trigger pulls using a digital force or a gauge or armorer's weight. This will basically tell us what, how much amount of uh, pressure is required for the trigger pull to cause a discharge. Next comes the mechanical evaluation of design safety. In this case, the design safety is evaluated. It is seen that the material that is used is, prop is of highest quality or not. Then. Next comes jar of testing. Stimulates abusive bumping of the firearm against a hard surface when in safe carrying positions. Whether the bumping to a hard uh, surface even if the uh, firearm is in a safe carrying position accidentally discharge. Next comes exposed hammer testing. In this case uh, it stimulates the dropping of a handgun on its exposed hammer or striking when in the safe carrying position. So it stimulates. Last but not the least is rotational testing. It stimulates abusive fall of a firearm left leaning against a vertical surface when in safe carrying position. So on the basis of all these tests interpretation is made so as to whether <coughs> the item or the uh, evidence uh, that we have got it has the tendency to accidentally discharge or it does not has the tendency to accidentally discharge so finally interpretation so either either one of them is going to be the interpretation that is the firearm did not exhibit any tendency to accidentally discharge or the firearm did has the tendency to accidentally discharge after that uh, the, the the conditions in which the firearm can accidentally discharge are listed. Now this all was the uh, test that can be used for evaluation of accidental discharge.